following video contains the new world record for the highest critical hit damage without the backfire. This record has been certified legit and amazing by Guinness World Records. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, m Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. So, I've been seeing some outrageous claims of world records lately for the highest crit hit damage. A lot of unnecessary back and forth between a few different content creators. Now, I was the one that started all of these world record videos well over a year ago, so I thought it's about time I chimed in again to set everyone straight and take back the title once and for all. Firstly, for PvP, this build probably isn't viable. If someone can use it and get some good clips, send them in and I'll give you a shout out in my next build video. And while this isn't the most effective build for PvE either, it still works. This is just one of those look at me and how awesome I am kind of videos. The video is going to give you the build for the highest amount of crit hit damage you can achieve solo for a whole mag without the backfire. Now we're not going to be using the talent strained or the named weapon called relations. Due to the way our crit hit damage increases with the talent, you're literally only going to get 3 bullets at 390% crit hit damage, so that's just not good enough. With this setup, we can get the new world record of 377% crit hit damage. It does take a little bit of practice and timing, but it is pretty easy to do, and I'll be showing some gameplay clips at the end of a heroic mission. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And please everyone engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, the works. All the links for that stuff is in the description. Righto champions, with all that said and done, let's get into the build. I have two reds, all blues, no skill tiers. Why? Because it's the way I already had my gear and we're focusing on the world record of crit hit damage so our core attributes don't really matter. If you did want to run a 6 red build, you can. To be able to get 377% crit hit damage on your build, you're going to need two pieces of Sokolov, one Grupo, two piece improvise and the exotic mask. Our chest and backpack talents are player preference as there's no talents currently in the game that will raise our crit hit damage. For our specialization, we're going to be using firewall because of that underbarrel attachment. This is a 10% crit hit damage mod and you do need this on your primary weapon. And the primary weapon that we're going to be using is a lightweight M4 rifle, but any rifle here will do. Why? Because it's the only weapon type that will give us a 17% crit hit damage as a core attribute. And the talent that we've gone for here is Killer. Killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 40% crit hit damage for 10 seconds. For our attachments, you're going to need to stack crit hit damage everywhere. Crit hit damage scope, crit hit damage mag, crit hit damage underbarrel, and crit hit damage muzzle. For our secondary, we're going to be using the Grudge, and the rolls here are maxed out, but we're using this gun specifically for the talent Perfect Vindictive. Killing an enemy with a status effect applied to them will grant you and your team 18% crit hit chance and crit hit damage for 20 seconds. This talent's buff will stay active even when swapping weapons. So gaining that very first kill with the grudge is super important. Then we're going to swap to our pistol, which is the orbit. Proking perfect finisher will grant us 35% crit hit chance and 40% crit hit damage for 15 seconds. So then we jump back to our lightweight M4, proc killer, and gain another 40% crit hit damage. I know this sounds like a lot of unnecessary weapon swapping, but with some practice you'll be able to keep chaining those crit hit damage buffs and keep it going. Getting kills in this order will allow us to get that 377% crit hit damage. Righto, we're going to take a quick look at the gear on the build now, and first up we've got the Coyote's Mask. Lived through this bullet, I live through yours. All the rolls here are maxed out and we've got a 12% crit hit damage mod. The talent's called Pack Instinct and this is going to provide us with a 25% crit hit damage buff when fighting within that 15 meter range. This is one of the reasons I made this build a little bit more tanky than I probably should have because you don't want to be too squishy at close range trying to proc all your weapon talents. For the chest piece, it's the first of two pieces of Sokolov and we're going to be getting that SMG damage but most importantly that 15% crit hit damage. 
We've got max armor, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and we've gone with a 12% crit hit damage mod. The talent's unbreakable. Whenever your armor is depleted, it repairs 95% of your armor back. Unbreakable can proc once every 60 seconds. Like I mentioned, there's no chest talents that increase our crit hit damage, so I've gone with survivability here. For the holster, it's the second piece of Sokolov. We've got max armor, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. Now, the next couple of pieces can take a little bit of effort to get because they're our handcrafted improvised pieces. These improvised knee pads took me ages to get and to max out, but they've got max armor, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and the reason that we're using improvised gear is for that mod slot, which we've got another 12% crit hit damage mod. And the gloves are the second piece of improvised. We've got max armor, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and a 12% crit hit damage mod here too. And lastly is the backpack, and it's our one piece of Grupo for that 15% crit hit damage. Max weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and our sixth and final 12% crit hit damage mod. If you don't have six max crit hit damage mods, you're not gonna be able to make this world record build. For the talent, I've gone with Vigilance. This is gonna increase our total weapon damage by 25%, taking any damage disables this buff for four seconds. Again, there's no backpack talent in the game currently that's going to increase our crit hit damage, so you can use what talent you like. Now, for the skills on the build, it's kind of player preference, but for survivability at close range and to keep Vigilance active, I'm going to be using a shield. But you will also need a skill that's going to apply a status effect so we can proc Vindictive. The Bleed Hive is probably the easiest and most obvious choice here, but feel free to get creative. Righto then, fine print time, the stat sheet. With our lightweight M4 rifle, 54% crit hit chance, and a massive 254% crit hit damage. I know what you're thinking, Plum, you said it's 377% crit hit damage. So a lot of our talents and buffs don't actually show here. So now's the time that we're going to be doing all that smart stuff known as mathematics. So 254% is our base crit hit damage. We add 25% from Coyotes. 18% from Grudge, 40% from Orbit, and another 40% from Killer, totaling the new world record of 377% crit hit damage without that bloody backfire. Oh my god! Wow! I know, amazing right? Like I mentioned before, the cold relations will take you to 390% when proccing the Grudge and the Orbit, but you're literally going to get 3 bullets of it, so it's not worth it. So now everyone can stop bickering over it. The world record is now back in the hands of where it first began. So that's the build champions. Not the most viable build in the game, but it's a world record nonetheless. So what do you reckon? Are you going to be a champion and try cracking a world record of your own? What builds would you like to see on the channel in the future? Let me know down below. And like always, show your content creators your support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum. Plum out.